Learning with the Pros. Brought to you by your Toyota BC dealers. Today I'm going to teach you the technique of butterfly flaying a salmon. Your first cut is behind the pectoral fin. And you cut down until your knife reaches the backbone. So once you make that incision, now we're going to cut along without going in or puncturing through to the rib cage. And then when you reach sort of the, the rear tail, the anal outlet there, then punch through over top of the backbone and then continue filleting back to the tail. And then so now we've cut through the pin bones, we're at the backbone now. And now you want to go with a downward motion on your, on your knife blade. You want to then go and fillet it in even strokes over top of your rib cage. You've got to make sure that you continue with nice long movements of the blade. And so now we've popped through, we've gone to the end of the rib cage there. As you can see, we're quite close to, the, to that. So we're leaving as, we're taking as much meat as possible. And now we're going to flip it over, leaving that on, and do the same thing to the other side. Make that cut down and pop through. And it's always good to have a sharp knife on hand. Makes the job a lot easier. Again, we're going to punch her through again and continue flaying down. And of course, with the regulations in British Columbia, you have to keep a tail on one fillet. So you just snap that and break through so the tail is attached to this fillet. And again, we're going to do that s smooth action along the rib cage. Pop through at the end of the rib cage. Cut off the carcass. And wash down hose, get rid of all the blood on here. You want to do that as quick as possible so it doesn't taint your meat. And so now we can go and cut these fins off here. Got a little meal for the crabs. Slice it there. Slice it there. And now we're left with two beautiful fillets. We're ready for the barbecue or the oven or however you choose to cook your salmon. So it's simple, it's easy. You don't have to worry about getting your salmon first. It makes things a lot quicker. So hopefully that helps out for you.